We back. We got the gun still with it. So last time y'all saw me, I introduced y'all to the dealer I had selling the work for me on the block. Since then, he got killed. <laughs> like, they ambushed him. I mean, they lit him up. He dropped the stuff he had, the money, the work. And, yeah, that was it for him. But we back now. We got two more dealers. We got two dealers working for us. So we replaced the last guy. That was D-Money. That was my homie. He got smoked. But now, we got two more people to replace him. One of the guys is going to be a surprise and replace. You're going to be looking at me like, what? Why you, why you got him working for you? you go, you'll understand. You'll understand soon. But right now, as you can see, I'm in a gun store. I'm buying up a whole lot of weapons. You know, we got to get the crew strapped up. Because uh, I can't have another ambush. So I'm going to get these guys some, uh, some guns with a little bit more firepower. That's going to hold them down. Because I can't have another incident like that. Like, D-Money was making a lot of money for me, man. I mean, he had that whole, the whole block jumping. That was the family's territory. He had that whole block jumping. Like, I mean, we was getting money crazy. And they killed him. I mean, like, they came out, they came out of nowhere. It was like five cars. It was like ten people. And they just lit the block up. And D-Money got smoked. I mean, they was gunning for him. He couldn't do nothing. And I, I got there late. And I couldn't even help him. Let me see if I can grab a vest too. Because they need some vests. I can only grab one, I think, though. Let me see. Yeah, I can only grab one. Oh, that's weak. Yeah, let's go see these guys. You see that lady running across the street like that? Somebody over here selling. And I need to see what's up, because I feel like only I should be selling everywhere in the city. I feel like the whole city is my territory. So I pretty much got to intimidate and bully everybody so they get the hint that, hey, maybe I shouldn't be selling over here. You see how he just made that transaction? I'm peeping him and he don't even know. Let's go see what's up. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Where you going? Let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you for a second. Hey, so. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. You pulled a strap out? Get down. What? Bop, bop, bop. I guess he didn't want to talk. He wasn't, he, wasn't a, he wasn't a guy of many words. He just wanted to pull the strap out. I just tried to talk to him. His boy is coming now. I'm about to light him up. I ain't running no more. I don't care how many it is. I'm lighting everybody up. I might know I'm up. Let's go. Got the Mac out. Got the Mac out. Get down or lay down, boy. Got the Mac. Look at, look at me. Go. Get down. Get down. Get down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I made my point now. We got to go. It's more of them. You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Let's go. Let's go. I'm out. It's a whole bunch of them. I thought they all was gonna come at once. But I made my point clear though. If I have to, I will use force. Deadly force. I already was knocking their dealers out. Last time I seen me, I was knocking all they people out. Everybody else saw Dylan? They got the hands. One hit or quitter. Gone. Uh, I think we lost them fools. Let's go see uh one of the new guys like working for me. I call him Lil J. You know, he got the real preppy look, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I think he is in school. I told him to stay in school, but he insisted on come working for me. He wanted to start from the bottom and work his way up, so. You know, who am I to deny somebody the opportunity? You know, you want to be an entrepreneur in the streets? By all means. So you pulling up on them right now. We're about to see 
you know what he got because I did give him some work. So I want to see how he doing. Did he uh, move anything? You know. I also gotta give him uh, these guns I bought because you see he only got a little pistol right now. Yeah, come come here, bro. Let me holler at you for a second, bro. What's been good, bro? You ever having no issues out here? No cops bothering you? Cool, cool, cool. All right, look, I'm about to slide you some more work, bro. I need you to move some more for me. Need you to keep this little spot right here, you know. I need you to keep it booming for me, you know what I'm saying? I need people come here and I'm gonna slide you some coke. I need you to test this coke out for me. I need you to see how I move over here in this area because if it's moving well and good and proper and all that, then we're gonna stop the crack sales. You're gonna go to coke. So, yeah, you go ahead and take that. I got some notes for you, I got some armor for you. You know, protect yourself. And yeah, you go ahead and you know, oh, I gotta give you this gun. I don't know what I'm gonna give you. Uh, you can take that assault rifle. Yeah, bro. Keep that on you at all times. You know what happened to the last guy? You know, he got ambushed, so I'm out, bro. Hey, and tell the teacher to stop calling my phone. All right, let's go see this next guy. <laughs> he gonna trip y'all out. It's gonna trip y'all out for real, but I call him Proctor. That's his name, Proctor. I'm just calling Proctor. Let's go see Proctor. See what Proctor up to. Pulling up on this fool now. You see what I mean? A whole cop working for me, bruh. Uniform and all. He approached me out of nowhere, bruh. Like, I thought it was like a sting. Like, I thought that was going to take me down. But he was talking about wanting to work for me. And the force ain't panning enough. And he said he can just sit over here in this area. And like he just doing a little basic foot patrol. But he really moving work for me, bruh. Like, ain't that crazy? He really moving for me. That's crazy. I'm about to give him a gun, too. He needs something. He got a shotgun already. He got something heavy. I'm giving that pistol. That 50 cal. Put a couple fools down with that. Let's see. I need to give him some more stuff. He need to get in his car for a second, though. Bro, get in the car. I ain't giving you this stuff on the outside. Get in the car, bro. Alright. Let's see, he got... He got 13. Yeah, I'ma take that. He doing alright. I think he should have been moving more. Yeah, go ahead and work. I was gonna give him some more work, but I think he got more than enough work on him. But I actually forgot to collect from, uh... My man's over here. He uh, he still got money on him. I ain't get that money off of him. I need that money. I need all my money. Just in case something happened. You know, somebody, somebody trying to ambush him again. I need to be able to have my money. Because, man. Them ambushes be crazy. I'm pulling up on him right now. But he over here holding down the block. With his little sweater on. Looking like Kanye West. Back when the college dropout came out. What's up, bro? You got that money? You only got eight. You only got eighty-five hundred, bro. Just give it here, bro. I will take it. Eighty-five hundred. What you been out here doing? Man, you need to get to work. You need to impress me, bro. I gotta make a phone call, bro. I'm about to go. Ain't nothing up, bro. Just get to work. I need you to hold it down a little bit more. I need you to do a little bit more, bro. I got a run to make. I'm on the phone with Z. Nah, Z. I'm talking to one of my workers, bro. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I need that order, though. 34? I'm on my way. All right, bro. Stay easy, bro. And work harder. Man, look at my car, bro. My junk. Toe up from the flow up, bro. We got to go to this deal and see one of Z peoples. You know, a little, a little stuck up dude. You know, he always got his little shooter. But dog, watch out. Dog. Did you knock my door off, bro? Yo. Bro. Bro, I, I can't. I can't. Get the strap. Get the strap. I don't want to hit nobody innocent. I'm like... Dang, bro. I had to send some type of message. I mean, like, she just knocked my whole door off. My car already tore up. 
Now my car barely starting. <laughs> oh, not the 5.0, no, bro. My car ain't starting. I gotta go get my jump fixed. I think I see. Wait. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Let's go over here and see what's up. What? You had something to say, bro? I didn't mean to shoot. You had so much to say. So much to say. Look at you now. Beat with a bat. Let's go see Z Peoples, man. I already wasted enough time. Extracurricular activities. People hitting my car. People want to step up and get in my business when it ain't none of their business. Like, dang, bro. Let's, let's go, bro. I had enough of these people. I got to make my money. Yeah, here we go right here. I know they're looking like, what the hell happened to his car? Man, I'm going to need y'all to uh, clear out. You feel me? I got some business to handle. I need to move. What? You step? You stepping up? Oh! Bink! You want something too? Bink! You can you coming back? Bink! 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 Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Keep playing with me, man. Man, my bad, Razook. What's up, bro? I got that money, bro. Here you go. I just had to, you know, we was trying to handle our business and they wouldn't clear out. I had to take care of them, bro. I'm going to take this, though. I appreciate it. Tells you I'm going to be hitting them up later for some more work because this going to be gone. You know how I move. i catch y'all later. Tight wide mother. <laughs> we about to uh, get up out of here. We got our work from Razook. That's Z's guy. You know, I do all my deals through him. Call Z, set it up, and Razook come meet me whenever I need. We about to go get our car fixed. Now we about to go see my boy Pedro at his shop because our car just, as you can see, is leaning. Bumper hanging off. The door gone. Crazy. I just hit the car again. Like, yeah, we got to get our junk fixed. We can't have a 5.0 looking like this at all. Y'all see me? Pedro took care of us. We nice and shining now. Got our car back. He do fast work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I pay him good money so he could do work, you know, just like that. On point and on time. But let's go, man. We got stuff to do. We got work to do, money to get. Yo, it's taking homie so long, bruh. This fool just sitting in my way. Move your car, bruh. I got somewhere to go. And the way this light is long. Come on, man. Just let me get over. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, he got an attitude. You can, but you, you getting out the car on me, bro? What's up, dude? What's up? You too? You can get it too. Nah. Uh. Let me get the bat out. Get the equalizer. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Let's go. Bink. You want something too? Bink. You missed. Bink. Stay down. Dog, oh, see, man. you're lucky. You're lucky. I'm feeling generous. I won't beat you in your bucket. You already, you already down bad in that rusted out bucket. People trying me in traffic today. I don't understand. I don't understand at all, bro. Let's go, bro. It's crazy. Ronnie, what's up, fool? Yeah, Ronnie watching my stash house for me sometimes. Look, I gotta put this coke up in my stash. Y'all gonna see, like, how much stuff I actually got. Why am I putting the money up? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I need my bread. I put that up. But look at my stash. Look how much coke I got. See, I just been stacking the coke up because that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be the main thing you sell eventually. So I'm just stacking coke up. That's why I just been selling the crack because I wanna, you know, just stock up on the coke. And I just use the proceeds from the crack to buy the coke, you feel me? So, I just want y'all to see that, see how I'm moving. We're going to be making more money because we got stuff to buy, like I said, businesses, cars, garages, houses, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, we got enough. But let's go. And of course, I want to put some of the stuff in the trunk in my car because, you know, I'm going to be riding around with this big duffel bag on my back, bro. That's strain, you know, it's straining on the body. You know, it's taxing. I get tired fast. 
Then if I gotta run from police or enemies, I don't wanna have this big duffel bag on me when that happens. So we about to go over here to the 5.0, the 5 PZ, open the truck, put some stuff in the stash. Not all of it, we're gonna keep some on us, but we're gonna put just enough in there so we don't have to carry that bag around because yeah, that bag's something crazy, so I think that's good enough. Let's close the trunk. Let's hop in the whip. And we can be out. So I got word. This this fool named Hector. I front of him some work. I've been looking for him and I found where he is. And he, he thought he was gonna run off there. He go right there in the alley with his boys. Yeah, he don't even know it's me. He can't see me. Let me get the strap. It's a cop. I ain't gonna move now. We'll let him go past. Yeah, he thought he was, he thought he was gonna get away. He thought he was gonna just gonna take my work and not pay me my money. So let's double back. Make a little example out of him. His friends, I don't care who they is. You gotta go. Little up. Get down, get down, get down, get down. I missed one. Let's go. I made my point. Let's go. I told him not to play with me. I told him. Last time I spoke to this fool, he was like, I ain't getting my money. You can catch me in traffic. Get it in blood. So I got it in blood. I got it in blood. I caught him in traffic. So that's what happens when you keep playing with me out in these streets. I don't know why people don't realize I'm the bully out here going to find out the hard way so that's it right there we'll be back thanks for watching the video like the video and sub